Hello ladies and gentlemen, Reginald Scott here, um, and yes, this is actually my real face, I'm no longer wearing a mask. Big surprise, right? Um, so, yeah, going for the big reveal here today. Uh, pleased to meet you for the first time, looking face to face. I hope you appreciate my visage and that uh, you're not disappointed that I'm no longer wearing the mask. Um, but yeah, I just, I don't know, I just felt like it was the right time to uh, to show you my face. So there you go. Hello, how are you? And nice to see you. Uh, by the way, to my viewers, thank you very much for watching. And uh, also thank you for subscribing. And I do seriously apologise for not being around for a few weeks now. I think it must be, oh goodness, like five weeks um, that I've not posted any videos. I'm kind of like trying to think ahead because of how long it's going to take me to actually start posting videos again. Um, there's a very good reason for that. Basically, people on my channel often uh, send me questions and write comments and they say things like, Hey, Reginald Scott, um, what are the best bike tyres I should buy? Or, uh, you know, what sort of gearing system should I have for hill climbing? Or, um, what's cycling like in Southeast Asia? And I thought, you know what? Seeing as I'm so dedicated to my fans, uh, so dedicated to you, my subscribers, what I should really do is I'll try and answer some of these questions. So I thought, what's the easiest one to answer? Well, obviously, what's cycling like in Southeast Asia? Really easy. All you have to do, jump on a plane, fly 16 hours, and Bob's your uncle. You know, you're in Southeast Asia. So this video, believe it or not, is coming to you from a small country on the island of uh, tropical island of Borneo, um, surrounded by beautiful rainforests. I'm actually in a place called Brunei, um, and I'm here for the next three weeks. I'm going to be making videos, and I'm actually going to be trying to look at cycling in Brunei. I'm going to hopefully visit some cycling shops in Brunei. Even coming from the airport, I saw a couple of guys out on their bikes. Um, so, really excited to uh, bring in some videos, some something a little bit different from my channel. Uh, huge changes going on right now, got rid of the mask and traveling around the world, um, hopefully showing you cycling in a different country. So, let's get down to the really important things. Um, rumors going around the internet that toilets flush in the opposite direction here, let's find out. Here's my toilet, and um, let's see which way it goes, uh, clockwise or anti-clockwise. <laughs> well, it's going anti-clockwise. So there you go. If you ever wanted to know which way around the water flushes on the equator, anti-clockwise. I actually think it's got something to do with um, the design of the toilet rather than the actual place you are on the planet. I think it's a little bit of an urban myth. Anyway, let's go look out my window. It's not a great view, so I do apologize, but I, uh, I thought I'd show you anyway. So this is my horrendous view of the car park. And um, look, there's even like a little palm tree or something down there. Can we zoom in with this camera? Look, there we go. That's my evidence I'm actually in Brunei um, at the moment. I can't give you anything better than that, but hey, hoping to get outside the hotel soon and uh, see a little bit more of the country. So, hopefully you will come along with me for this little adventure and, um, yeah, learn something new about a country that you may not have been to. But just want to show you my hat before I go. I literally couldn't resist bringing my Panama hat to Brunei. God, I look like such an idiot abroad in this. Hang on a minute get the full effect here. Ta da I'm gonna stick out like a sore thumb, but hey, I'm British, that's what we do. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm wet, so I'm wet, you know. What's the worst that can happen? Open, open man. Kalau di dalam di bini enak. My Kit Kat's gone mouldy. Oops. Wow. 
Primates angry. <laughs> angry primates. Yeah, uh, you're also going off the road. <laughs> Good thing you drive a 4x4, four four, that's all I can say. I've got the jungle book in my head right now. <laughs> 